Hey what's up everyone so it's the next part of 20 best must have apps if you haven't watched the first part that's linked below in the description box so make sure that you watch that first. So let's get started. The next app on the list is Sot app. So it's a basic app aimed towards saving your battery life. This app will detect and sort down apps running in the background that uses a lot of battery. In the main screen, you will see the number of background apps currently running, percentage of battery and data it's consuming. By pressing the shutdown button here, it will close all of those applications. It will take a while to close, but it will make a difference in your battery life. If you want some applications to remain opened, you can add that app in the whitelist. You'll also have some extra features with this app like this magic ball. A small ball will be displayed on your screen no matter where you go whose size will increase as the number of background app increases. Tapping on it, you can view the amount of background apps running and the battery it's consuming. You can close all of those apps from there itself. Another feature is called Pocket Sort which will close all applications automatically once the device is placed in pocket. Now the next app on the list is perfectly clear. So it's a photo app which can capture photos and edit them. But unlike others, it has got a very powerful auto edit mode. Once you open a photo and press the perfectly clear button here, you can see the difference. They have provided a slider separating the older and the new image. So with a single tap of the button, you can make your photos look a lot better. Apart from that, you can fix other aspects of your photo like tint, apply beautify feature in selfies, brighten up dark photos using the fixed dark, and you can also adjust other things manually like exposure, sharpness, skin tone, sign, and a lot more. As I mentioned earlier, this app also has got a camera, uh, which again has a lot of features. In the HDR option here, you'll have two different options, the realistic mode and the artistic mode. You can take panorama, control white balance, or you'll have focus control and the option to enable grid lines. The next app on the list is Corgi for Feedly. So it's a lock screen replacement app which will display news right from the Feedly in the lock screen. If you don't know about Feedly, it's a very popular news reader which is available in various platforms PC, Android, iOS and a lot more. So once you install this app, you need to log in with Feedly. Once the login is completed, all the news will be delivered right in the lock screen and you can read it without even unlocking your device. The UI of this app is very good as well, it's very easy to use. On the top, you have the clock displayed and below, you have the news itself. You can right swipe to unlock the device and left swipe to scroll through various news. And you can swipe up to read the news itself. And from here, you can go to the website of that particular news. From here, you can share that article. And you have various shortcuts here as well. You can go to camera, dialer app, and you can go to previous news. And from the app, you can select from which site you want the news to be delivered. You can unsubscribe and subscribe to more sites. And from here, you can select a pattern. So before unlocking the device, it will ask you for a pattern. So that's all about this app. The next app on the list is Soundherd. So it's a volume panel replacement app which does not require root. Now this one will be most useful in some lollipop devices where silent mode is not available and with this one you will have the silent mode. So this one is a lot better than the stock volume panel. You will have a drop down menu here from where you can control settings for different volumes like media, alarm, ringtone and a lot more and inside the app you can select which app you want to load after long pressing the volume up and the down button 
you can select it to be flashlight or any other app this one is a very useful feature and from here you can customize the look of the volume panel change its color background color slider color and a lot more so i recommend this app for any android user as it is a better option than the stock volume panel so why not use it the next app on the list is flinks so this app will make opening links a lot easier so whenever you encounter a link in some apps like facebook or twitter with this app installed instead of that link opening in a browser it will open in a little bubble just like the fv chat hits so what this means is that you don't have to wait all the website will load in the background while you can easily scroll through the feeds you can have as many tabs as you want opened and double tapping on any link will save that article for offline use so that you can read it later when there is no internet connection so all the websites that are opened in the flanks has the ad removed and unnecessary clutter removed which makes the reading experience much better and it will also save data so that's all about this one the next app on the list is next lock screen so it's a beautiful lock screen replacement which will allow you to do a lot more without unlocking your device so on the lock screen you can swipe down to unlock and swipe up for the quick app launch here you'll have a combination of different applications you'll have your most recently used apps and some apps based on the time of the day and your location and then below you have the toggles for various settings like wi-fi and a lot more you can change the category of app from here and once you receive a notification you can interact with it as well or you can right swipe to dismiss that notification or left swipe to interact with it if it's a missed call you can call back if it's a message you can reply when the music is playing you'll also have music controls displayed right on the lock screen from the app you can add screen lock to it you can add a pattern or a pin which will be asked before unlocking you can also edit items in the quick app launch you can add your own apps remove the ones you don't need so that's all about this one the next app on the list is phonograph music player so if you just play local music and want a good looking simple player just to play music this one is for you so you can sort music in various categories here just like in any other music player above here you have the search option available from here you can go to the equalizer and in this music player you'll also have the playing queue which most music player lacks you can easily add a song to the queue from here so that's all about this app uh, this music player is one of the best looking players around there as it follows material design the next app on the list is fleetcube so this app is meant to replace the default android sharing system to make it much faster and add more options so once you have this one set as default in the sharing menu the most relevant applications will be displayed for example if you are sharing a file bluetooth email will be on the top of the list and this app will also change the way you open a link after pressing a link just check your device and flipku sharing will open and you can choose where you want to open the link if you simply want uh, that link to open by browser you just don't check your device but if you want to open it by any other app just check your device and all the options will be there on the screen so that's all about this app the next app on the list is smart notification so nowadays we receive notification from a lot of different application and most of them are useless ones they are only there to disturb you you can disable that inside android but you need to manually select its application once you install smart notification in your device it will identify spam automatically and make sure that none of the spam notifications are displayed in your device one or two spam notification may pass through but from the app you can mark it as spam and this app will make sure that it's not displayed in your device again 
once you mark it as spam, the database of this app gets updated and no other user who downloads this app ever receives that spam again. However, if you want to receive notification from certain spam application, you can add that application in the exception menu. You also have got the do not disturb mode here. Here you can select the time, the day and you can choose what things you want to allow and the do not disturb mode will trigger automatically. So that's all about this app. The next app on the list is Brainwave. So with this app you can use your hand gestures to control music. This app uses the front camera to do so. So you, you, have, uh, you can apply some gestures to stop music or start playing it. Go to the previous song. Go to the next song. And you can even change the volume using this gesture. All of the gestures works almost all of the time except volume control gesture. Sometimes certain hand movements are recognized as gestures but most of the times this app works great. This app supports a lot of music players and it even works when the screen is turned off. So that's all about this video. I hope that you guys have found some great applications for yourselves. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more apps and game videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.